talk about this incredible tech is DTS's own Anthony Landamia and Jan Kuo from Garmin. Anthony, can you tell us a little bit about DTS AutoStage? So as you know, DTS has a long history in entertainment, including in car infotainment. So we revolutionized our in-cabin infotainment, starting with HD radio, and we're doing it on a much larger scale with DTS Auto Stage. Customers expect that their in-cabin experience is much like a smartphone. They want to be able to interact with the entire cockpit of the vehicle. We can leverage our camera technologies in the car, and we can positively identify not just the driver, but all the occupants in the car. And we could do things like serve up content for you with your morning commute to the office. And maybe on your way home, we can serve up more relaxing uh, music. Jan, it's great to have you here with us. Garmin is known to many consumers for smartwatches and navigation devices. Can you share more about what Garmin is doing in the car? Garmin has been around for just a bit over 30 years, and we actually started in aviation. Uh, so many people actually are unaware of the breadth of Garmin's business. It's including marine, outdoor, fitness, wearables, as you mentioned, and uh, automotive. And we've worked with DTS over those many years to bring uh, infotainment solutions to, to market. Can you share the Garmin perspective on developing extraordinary UX UI? So we share in DTS's vision of a highly personalized experience in the car. Um, for both the driver and all the passengers, we've used DTS Auto Stage to identify who's in the car. And passengers and drivers can change, and your content and your profile just follows you seamlessly. So I can watch a movie, my fellow passenger can play a game. Or let's say I've started watching a movie at home and I go to the car, I can continue from where I left off. We're happy to announce that we launched in five key OEM brands and we're gonna bring on in the next 12 to 24 months, nine additional OEMs. And it's not just in the US, but it's global. So we will have launched in all major countries in the next 12 to 24 months. The artistry behind user experience is how do you optimize the system in a way that is completely natural to the user. So touchscreens, manual knobs, steering wheel controls, and, and voice activation, so that they're not going through three or four different menus to accomplish certain tasks. And that allows us to do things like create a content first approach to all the media in the car. So whether we're talking um, radio, whether we're talking podcasts or lyrics or new, even movies, we're able to serve up content first, then the user can decide where they want to consume it. I think the next step in personalization is where uh, we can use AI and machine learning models to actually go a step deeper into personalization where seemingly the car learns your habits. And uh, from there are able to generate recommendations on where you're going next. Let's say you're going to dinner, um, have a system where it knows it's roughly the time you go to dinner and can offer recommendations in the area, or you go to stop coffee in the morning and uh, can provide maybe new suggestions on, on where, to, where to get coffee. So uh, we, we see a lot of suggestion capabilities that can come from such a system uh, based on just having a, having a car that learns more about you. It's a connected car revolution, people. As exciting as that is for OEMs and their customers, it's more exciting for me because I'll have much more content to sing along to on my next road trip. Let's roll! And if you think it's cool how DTS Auto Stage is revolutionizing in-car infotainment, check out our next episode where we talk about how DTS is using sensing technology to personalize your entertainment experiences and safety in the car.